All right, welcome everybody. Let's work on a pump laws problem. As you recall from the Zach Robinson video, very hard problems are as easy as one, two, three. So our first problem, these are going to be right off of that last quiz. I want to show you how to do them on the quiz so that you can get them right. And if you want to retake your quiz and get credit for that, that's perfectly fine. So the first problem gave us an initial speed of 1800 RPM and a final speed of 3600 RPM. So let's find our, set up our equation, the volumetric flow rate final or volumetric flow rate initial is the same as the speed final over the speed initial. Speed final is 3600 RPM over 1800 RPM. That gives us a factor of 2. And factors are a nice easy way to, to solve these. Once you get that how, what factor does it change by? And in this case, a factor of two means it's twice as much. It's doubled. Uh, if it had changed by half again as much, right? Instead of 1,800 to 3,600, if it had only gone up by 900 RPM and was 2,700 RPM, then it'd be 0.75. Right, uh, crap. Let me do that math. Don't do that in my head. Give me a sec. 2700 divided by 1800. 1.5. Yep. Then the factor would be 1.5. Whatever that factor is, uh, that's what we use to figure out the pump head and the pump power. So we have a factor change of 2. What it's asking for is the discharge head. All right. So it's asking for the head of the pump discharge pressure. And we know that our factor 2 squared, let's say I'm jumping ahead, so head final over head initial is equal to speed final squared over, or not, speed final, uh, man I'm tired, initial, and then the whole thing is squared. There we go. And we've already done this work here. We know that's 2. And 2 squared is 4. So head final over head initial equals 4. Well, we know this value. So let's move that over here. Multiply times head initial, which is 4 times 20 PSIG. 4 times 20. 80 PSIG. And that's problem one. Had we um, something to notice here that'll help with the next two problems is the flow rate and the speed change by the same amount. So even though we give you speed here, we didn't have to. If we had told you that the flow rate, the final flow rate, was 800 gallons per minute, that you could still solve this the same way. So volumetric flow rate final over volumetric flow rate initial is speed final over speed initial. And if I know that this is, the initial is 400, GPM, and I know that the final is 800 GPM, then I still get my factor because 800 divided by 400 equals 2. So knowing either the speed or the flow rate, the initial and final speed or the initial and final flow rate are is what you need. All you're looking for is the by what, by how much did the speed and or flow rate change. All right, let's take a look at this problem. So we have an initial speed. We don't know the final speed. We have an initial flow rate. We have a final flow rate. But we know that these are directly proportional. Okay? 
So if final flow rate over volumetric, the, or the initial volumetric flow rate is 1,200 gallons per minute over 1,000 gallons per minute equals 1.2. Then this is, factor is the same as I would have gotten with my X RPM over 1,800 RPM. In fact, I can now use this to figure out uh, what my initial RPM was. Fifteen hundred RPM. But I don't. I don't have to work backwards on that because this is all I need to solve the pump head or power problems. I have my factor. By what factor did it change? Okay. So I have the one point two. And I know, and we're looking, we're not looking for pump head, we're looking for power. And so power final over power initial is equal to uh, 1.2 cubed, right? This is the factor. This is the final over initial speed, and we substituted flow rate. You end up with the same value. So 1.2 times 1.2 times... 1.2 equals, we're going to move this over here. Our initial power is 500 horsepower times 500. The answer is 864 horsepower. Okay. On this last problem, it's the exact same. It is the exact same idea as this one. Once again, and a little heads up before this answer that I get scares you, I had it keyed wrong on the quiz. So anybody that picked the five point, whatever it was, 5.2 uh, kilowatts instead of the 9.47 or I rounded it off 9.5 kilowatts, uh, if you got it right before, I just left it right, but I regraded it so that no matter what, everybody gets this question right now because I had it keyed wrong, and I don't want you to, yeah, I'm not penalizing you for me miskeying the question. All right. Like we've said, the flow rate and speed are directly proportional. So finding this here, 400 GPM over 300 GPM is our final over our initial, which gives us that, that's 1.33. 1.333 continues uh, factor for that change. And that's the same factor we would get with the uh, speed final over speed initial, because this is directly proportional to this. So they're effectively interchangeable. Now power, we're looking for power, not pump head, is 1.333 cubed times our initial power, 4 kilowatts, 1.33 times 1.333 times 1.333. So our factor of change, or uh, sorry, not our factor of change, our factor of change is 1.333. That value cubed is 2.369 times 4 kilowatts. 2.369 times 4. 9.47. really 9.48 kilowatts. So round that up, 9.5 kilowatts. If I gave you a problem that had a, 
let's say I didn't give you speed, let's say I didn't give you a flow rate, but I gave you an initial pump head. So head of the pump, initial, um, we'll, use, we'll use 60. PSI, doesn't matter, A, G, D, it's a pressure, right? Let's do PSI G. And I gave you a final, uh, let's say, I don't know, I'm just making up a number here, 90 PSI G. Okay? And our initial power, uh, let's say 200 kilowatts. And we want to find final power, right? So you don't have speed, you don't have flow rate. You can still work these same ratios, the same equations to solve it. If we know that head of the pump final over head of the pump initial equals our uh rate times our, uh, whatever our factor is, I'm trying to figure out what to use, we'll just say x squared, and then we know that 90 over 60 equals x squared. I want to get rid of that square, so let's, look, let's see what the 90 divided by 60 equals, and let's find the square root of that. Oops, 1.5 square root. 1.5 equals 1.225. So, even though we didn't have the speed or the flow rate, we were able to figure out what that factor of change was using pump head. As long as you have an initial and final of the same parameter, you can use that very hard problem is as easy as one, two, three to solve for any of the other parameters. So our factor of change is 1.225. Our initial power, 200. times 1.225 cubed, 1.225 times 1.225 times 1.225 equals, so our factor here equals 200 times 1.838 367 uh, kilowatts. Let's see. I felt like that was fast and maybe confusing. Uh, let me s try and do it this way. So let's just break down the very hard problems, or as easy as one, two, three. So Initial, oops, final, always final over initial. Final over initial, final over initial. Um, speed, final, speed initial. All right, I uh, winging it here. All I, really, all I'm trying to say is that if pump head, head of the pump final over head of the pump initial is equal to speed final over speed initial squared, then all you have to do is, uh, to find this factor, is take the square root of these two, right? You want to find out what speed final over speed initial is, which is the factor of change, you take an initial 
or a final pump head, divide it by the initial pump head, and then you take the square root of that. That gives you your factor of change. Then you apply that factor of change. And that factor of change, volumetric flow rate final over volumetric flow rate initial equals uh, that factor of change time to, to the one power. Head of the head final over head initial equals that factor of change squared. Power final over power initial equals that factor of change cubed. So whatever that factor of change is, cubed times your initial power gives you your final power. Whatever that factor of change is, squared times your initial pump head gives you your final pump head. Whatever that factor of change is times your initial volumetric flow rate gives you your final volumetric flow rate. All right. If you need more on this one, let me know. Otherwise, that's what I got for that.